Boom, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, Fizz is playing uh, Escape from Tarkov, and um, I think that this game and that game kind of have a lot in common. Inventory management, gun handling, um, there's a lot of sneaking around. It's It's like... Escape from Tarkov is scum without being open world. It's very point and purpose. Like, do this mission, you're good. But you still do a lot of picking up nonsense and whatever stuff on the ground. And you kind of start off the same way as, like, you start picking up everything. And you become kind of a hoarder. And then eventually you learn, okay, I don't actually need all these things. But, you know, actually, you did. You know, people say, oh, you don't really, blah, blah, blah. But... I, I think that actually it is important that you go through that experience of picking everything up. Because here's another thing, too. There's people that, you know, once they get to whatever they're at, like I'm super user number or whatever, I'm awesome, most awesome number one, right? They think that how they play is how you should be playing, but they forget how it was getting up there. It isn't that easy to just do what they want you to do. Because you have to go through the fucking experience, man. <laughs> Not only that, but if you don't go through the experience, you won't find out things, mechanics, or types of things that you might want to do that other people aren't doing because they are they never thought of doing it. They're only doing the cookie cutter, you know, path that everyone says. So, like, Fizz found out this thing called, like, Keymaster Runs or whatever, where he's like, you know what? I'm going to pick up every key that I can find. And open up every door that most people would consider to be trash. Why do they consider them to be trash? He started looking into these these rooms on different maps. And he, he studies the maps. And he goes back to them and repeats and repeats. Till he, you know, remembers. Yeah, it's like pretty much anyone, right? But he's doing it in a different way. And he interpreted, like, when is the best time to go there? And what are the responses from players? So he's he's kind of trying to fit into the ecosystem of Tarkov, but anytime you try to do something that deviates from the standard, you get the hammer, right? So there you go. That's you know, so if you're going to feel pushback, but the funny thing is, he's not pushing this on anyone. This is where the prejudice comes in of well you're different, why are you different? I don't like that you're different. Even though he's not saying, you should be doing what I'm doing because you're a fucking moron. You're doing it the wrong way. He's just saying, hey guys, check this out. This is pretty cool, right? And everyone's like, what the f Jesus, man. You know? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's funny. But that's how it is with games, right? Anytime you go counter, like that's how it was with Warframe. I was like, I'm going to melee. Like, melee is crap. I like melee. <laughs> I'm going to use this dagger. This dagger sucks. I'm going to use two of them. <laughs> Can't imagine how it could be fun. Right. Their their thoughts center around a singular focus. And you know what? I think that it's not even an issue with people like myself or Fizz that see that different type of, you know, gameplay. Different way of, of playing the game exactly. Is it Icy or Zix? Zix. I used to call you Zix. There we go. Everybody's using melee now. <laughs> yeah, but like you're saying there, you can have your own way of playing. Exactly. Um, exactly. That's that's just that's just what it is. Can't people can't imagine? Here's the thing: people that like the variance in gameplay, like myself, is whatever. Um, we're not looking at everyone else and saying, "Man, you're stupid for not doing what I'm doing." We're just looking at other people and saying. You know, if you did this, it could probably help you out and break up the, uh, you know, the repetitive run to it. Oh, okay, never mind. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have fucking said anything. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, yeah, it's it's funny. Nothing, nothing really ever changes. No matter what game you go to, it's a mentality and it's functions of human beings, you know? So, there's a threshold to entry of that type. Of, oh, there is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you, you approach it in a different way. You're looking for different things. You have different goals. In Warframe, so Fizz, uh, you probably don't know, but this guy, uh, Zix, Zix, I'm going to call you Zix. Um, he's part of the old YouTube community. I'm talking about old, before I was on Twitch. And I used to, I was actually a partner, one of the first partners for Warframe, back way back when they were literally just starting. 
Um, so back then it was like, you, there was only like seven of us or whatever that were actually partners or something like that. Now there's like a, a whole ton of them. So that's kind of like the background there. Everybody using me like, yeah, is there a threshold to entry to the type of game? The guys I was playing with the last night couldn't believe that I had these ridiculous expensive keys. Right, right. Well, in Warframe, I used to tell the other, like we would do YouTube. You, you, the YouTubers that did it were very few at the time. And I was the minor of minor. <laughs> Nobody really gives a shit, right, about what I said. But that's okay. I used to say, though, because I still would talk to them and stuff. And I would say, here's the thing. We're playing different games. You're playing the game and I'm playing the game. But our goals are just not the same. Like every so often we may intersect, but you're very limited. Like they were very limited to only doing very specific things with very specific weapons. Like they were the meta enforcers in a way. And anything that was not meta, they would say was ridiculous and stupid and you shouldn't be doing it. Because it's a waste of your time, right? But my thing is, I like to use every aspect of the game because I paid for the fucking game. <laughs> And in the case of Warframe, it's a free-to-play game. Maybe I didn't pay for it, but it's still a game. It's a video game. It's a video game. And things with the beta-type game, they change over time. So the more familiar with every aspect of the game you are, the better off you are when things come and change the way that the game is, and you're less prone to being, oh, I can't believe they changed my perfect build, my perfect build, my perfect run, my perfect map, my perfect, you're not going to control shit. It's, you know, that's just how life is. You ain't going to, you're not going to control it. All right. You, you're going to, you're going to be in a controlled free fall. <laughs> you're still in a free fall, but you know, you can at least, you know, glide like a squirrel or something, you know, I like that. Meant to be explored and played and sometimes broken. Exactly. That's how you find broken. That's how you find broken mechanics. And some people like to find the broken mechanics such as volts because it's, you know, hilarious. And they find certain animations that they do, you know, like uh, in uh, The Division. I think he was picking up like a, a medical, what, that med bag, whatever it was. And like, I don't know what the hell he was doing with it. But he found some really funny animation with it. Um, and other people like to find broken mechanics and exploit it so they can get to the highest end loot. And to me, I don't find those specific mechanics as fun because I don't, I don't want to finish the game. That's how it is generally for me with most video games. I don't really find the most joy personally. Personally, this is a very specific thing. I shouldn't have to say that. You should know because it's coming from my fucking mouth that that's my, my joy is not completing the game. I know that sounds weird. Most people are like, I like, I like to perfect. Perfect and finish. That's me. Perfectly finish. I'm like, I like to enjoy. <laughs> I like the journey. I like, I like failing. I, I like to know how far I can push something, you know? Well, that's not working. The 50th time and you did it and it's wrong. Well, guess what? It's a video game. And this is the place where I can fail and it doesn't mean a goddamn thing. Isn't that great? What else in real life lets you fail like that? You know, uh, real life means too much most of the time. So, eh, you know, Zix, uh, that it's a hey, vault. You should, you maybe remember Zix, but I'm going to blame you from, this is like the old school me right here. I used to preach like this all the time about video games on life and all of that stuff. <laughs> I'm blaming you for my rant. It's not really a rant. I never really rant. Well, sometimes every, every once in a while. <clears throat> like art, why not use why not use the shit available? Right. Yeah, art uh yeah, you're going to be very explorative with your various things. So damn true, man. So hype when I jumped in a game with my Skittles color. <laughs> Skittles color Excalibur. Oh man. Do jumping jacks. There you go. Equip the supply bag. Suddenly you're just using your legs to do jumping jacks. Exactly. But they fixed it. Right. Your hands would be at your side and your legs would be going. Yeah. I forgot that. Sam, I still haven't been linked to the past since I uh, love visiting the game a ton. Nice. Yeah, there are definitely some games that I play and um, I don't ever finish them. Like Shadowrun for the Genesis. I don't. I think I've only finished that game once when I was a kid. Um, everything is super dark. I don't even know what I should be doing right now in the game. Also, why is a one headlight showing light, but not... There's no light. There's no light coming out of the headlight, but there there is light. 
But the headlight's not... Oh, yes. This is the kind of stuff I love. <laughs> I don't know why. And if you think that that's just the headlights, let me let me show you something. Let me show you something. But that's just the normal headlights. And it's not. This is the headlights. Huh? So this is a bug. But I appreciate it because it's a free light. 